Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., helping businesses across the province grow through export. For more information, NovaScotiaBusiness.com. Humans create a lot of waste. And Nova Scotia is no exception. To deal with this waste, municipalities spend millions of tax dollars each year on sorting, transporting, sending it to be recycled, and burying it. There was a time when all garbage in Nova Scotia was either buried or burned. There was no composting or recycling. Today, things are very different. Valley Waste, located in the Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia, is leading the way in waste management. Not only do they ensure the waste generated by the region's 83,000 residents is sorted and disposed of correctly, they also ensure thousands of tons of recyclable material is diverted from landfills each year. The staff work tirelessly to decrease the amount of waste residents and businesses create in the first place through education. Everything starts at the curbside where residents are asked to sort garbage, compost and recycling into separate containers. Once everything's been picked up at the curbside, full trucks arrive at the Valley Waste facility to drop off their load. Every vehicle that arrives at the facility is first weighed so that the facility can keep track of the amount of waste entering. When vehicles leave, they're weighed again. Private vehicles are charged a fee depending on the difference in weight. Each waste truck divides the three levels of waste at pickup and drops off compost to the transfer station first. Almost 11,000 tons of household compost is dropped off at Valley Waste annually. About 41 metric tons of this organic compost are being sent to Northridge Farms in Kings County each week, where it is slowly turned into usable soil. Once the compost has been dropped off, blue bag recycling is brought to a nearby facility that is run by Scotia Recycling. And this place is busy. Crews work 24 hours a day during the busy season and sort over 6,600 metric tons of recycling each year. Which is a lot when you consider much of it is paper, plastic and styrofoam. Sorting recycling is a very important process as each element goes to different places all over the world. Paper products are first separated from the other recyclable products. The bags of paper are dropped onto a large conveyor, where workers open them and sort the paper from cardboard and any other items that may have been placed in the bag by customers. Once the paper is sorted, it's placed in a giant press which allows for easier transport. The other recyclables are a little more complicated. Workers first tear open the recycling bags and all the material goes up a conveyor system where more workers separate the various items from glass to metals, to plastics. Once sorted, the items drop into giant cages. Metals, paper, 
milk cartons, and plastic are all taken to the giant press or baler, where they are compressed and baled for easier transportation. Glass is sorted by color and used as aggregate in cement, new glass products, and even in drainage systems. Styrofoam is a unique material in that it is mostly made of air. It's not cost effective to transport a product for recycling that is mostly air. And is even expensive to truck to local landfills. Valley Waste is the first waste management site in Nova Scotia that compresses styrofoam into very compact bales. Once compressed, these bales can then be shipped all over the world to be made into window frames and other items. The last material to be dropped off from the trucks is the garbage. This is taken back to the transfer facility where it's loaded into a transport trailer, compressed for transport, and sent to a landfill in Chester, Nova Scotia. Even with all the recycling at Valley Waste, 80 metric tons of garbage is sent to landfill each weekday. Valley Waste also collects construction waste, such as construction wood and shingles, which are both used as a fuel source. Residents can also bring their leaves and other brush to the facility for composting, as this material is not picked up at the curbside. Appliances and other large metal-based household items can be dropped off at Valley Waste. These items are stripped of their toxic or environmentally unfriendly compounds, and then sent for recycling elsewhere. As are electronic items. Hazardous waste is sorted into different types of material and stored in drums for disposal or recycling. Specialized hazardous waste haulers take the waste for safe disposal. Some items, such as the 120 pallets of paint taken in each year, can be recycled into new paint. Valley Waste is a leader in solid waste management.